Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of The Shallow Water Adventure with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Keith. I'm not Jeffrey. No, you're not. But I'm as tall as you today. I know. How's that happening? I ate my Wheaties. You <laughs> ate your Wheaties? I ate my Wheaties. Yeah, you're welcome, everybody. No, welcome, welcome to another episode. Uh, we're excited to be here. We're at uh, Mud Buddy HQ. We're down in the shop today. Um, we were going to go outside and do some stuff, but it the weather is not permitting. Well, oh, the weather is... Definitely not permitting. Not permitting. It's a little rainy out there, and so we decided to stay in the warmest part of the shop, which is right here. Um, but it is a little bit loud, so I'm going to try and... I'm going to try it. <laughs> try and talk a little louder? Those buttholes are doing that on purpose, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but we're going to try and be as loud as we can. We are going to be taking questions uh, today. We've got a really, really great show. Um, so stick around. Start sending in your questions right now, and we are going to get to all of those. But... First things first. I gotta get oh. off of that. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall off of that randomly one yourself. time. I know. Um, so what's been uh, so What's been happening? What's been going on this week? Uh, it's been a pretty good week at my buddy. Yeah. Selling some motors. Uh, the guys have uh, got an enormous amount of parts back stocked and yeah, pre-built, ready to go out on the other shop. You know, honestly, so. I thought that like now that the season is over, I thought it'd be a little slower, a little quieter down here. No. So we could shoot and I could do what I wanted down here in the shop instead of these guys. But uh, no. No, no. They're just they're prepping for the upcoming season. You know, we can't. It's can't never too soon. Around. It's never too soon to prep for the next season. No, it's that's exactly amen. right. Amen. That's for sure. All right. We good. don't want to go back to the old days when we were a lot of motors behind and frantically running around. It's a yeah. lot more. It's it's nice. Flowing. It feels it's, good. Yeah. It feels organized. We like that part yes. of it. Absolutely. Um, what else? What else you been doing this week? So the, over the weekend, you know, you always ask me what I do over the weekend. I usually tell you nothing. So this past weekend, <laughs> this past weekend, I took a little of my own medicine because we always practice or preach. Hey, get ready for the next season. So yes. All my hunting clothes were washed, clean, and put away. Toward the right, the shotguns down. Clean them all up. Prep them in the safe, ready to go. Yes. And I fixed and repaired and cleaned all of the decoys and everything that I use that was just strung out all over the garage is now nice and tidy, clean, and put away you, until October. So you're I so be, ready. I will be so ready you on Friday You are the most night prepared that there is. Because I don't want to be that guy <laughs> Friday night frantically running around trying to fix everything the night before the season starts. That's amazing. I'm not going to do it. you got like... Nine months now to just kick back and uh, enjoy your time. You don't ever have to think about it again up until that moment. That's right. good. Good for you. I'm ready that, I'm long, ready that way. How long did you spend doing that this I was weekend? probably two, three hours. Two, three hours. In the garage at 20 All degrees. Right. Yeah. But it was okay. It was I had okay. Sw- I had my Mud Buddy sweatshirt on, <laughs> so I, I was all right. <laughs> so you just, were okay. I, I, was, I was fine. It was... Uh, Nice to get all that stuff behind me. That's good. And I can sleep at night knowing that I am ready to go when it's time to go. That is good. I want to hear from everybody else. If anybody else, if anybody else has done what you have done, has gotten all their gear packed up, put away, cleaned up, repaired, and ready to go, I want to hear, uh, post on here if you have done that. Um, I also want to hear, that's interesting, like two, three hours. I wonder if uh, people take longer than that, or are you just that slow? Uh, you know what? Probably people that take a little bit longer because they have more gear than I do. Sure. And I, I, you know, there's always squirrels running around at my place, okay. so I get distracted a lot. <laughs> I see. I was, I'm like, honestly, like, in your garage? You got squirrels in your garage? I see what you're saying. I get it. That was, I, I, was like, I, rats I, maybe. I, am, I don't yeah. know. The squirrels? I am easily distracted. Easily and I, distracted, I will start yeah. one thing and I'll say, oh, look at that over there. And then I forget where I was and I got to come back to it. So That's good. Yeah, that's the squirrels. Well, good. I'm proud of you. I'm so, very, very proud of you. I myself, um, as we all know, last week I had a cold. Yeah, you were uh, sick. I was dying. I didn't, but uh, I so I, I didn't do anything. I literally sat in bed for a good solid forty eight hours, just recouping. Oh, it was awesome. It was really really nice. But I did not prep. I am not ready for next season, so I'm, I'm going to need a little more time on that. Um, this week we're actually handicapped a little bit this week um, because we don't have Ambry. Ambry yeah. is not here. She's not behind the camera, everybody. Um, unfortunately, we've got the pyromaniac standing behind the camera, so anything bad could happen at any moment. If you see any flames, don't worry. It's a controlled fire, we hope. <laughs> That's what we're going to say. Say it's controlled. It's controlled. 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 Controlled burn. 
Um, but everybody, give a big shout out to Ambry. She is taking care of some other incredibly important matters today. Um, she will be on probably in a little bit, helping us out, answering questions, and uh, uh, following along. Um, unless she's on an airplane, which right. she very well could be mid-air. Um, but she didn't remind me to get the link up, so the prize link is not up there, everybody. I'm so sorry I didn't get that up. Um, but I will post that as soon as um, as soon as I get back to the office after this. That's for a long all of walk, those. isn't it? It's all the way upstairs. All the way Heaven upstairs. Forbid. It's about a 30-second walk. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's exhausting. <laughs> those 15 stairs. Yikes. I mean, no. what am I going to do? You know, what, uh, what I just walk stairs? But I do... I do have a small prize box here with us. I've got some stuff to give away today, so um, we will do that. We'll, we'll try get, and remember, yes. and you know, get those and like and share. We and like to like and share. <laughs> if you like and, like, share, and share. We like and share, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So we're gonna get those. So do send in your questions. But we do have a really fun show. Well, not is it fun? I, it's always fun when you're talking it's, about mud buddy. You're that talking is about true. The, the leader in <laughs> mud motors. I mean. Uh, we kick. All right, listen. I won't say the rest of it. This is an important episode. Let's say that. If nothing else, this is an important episode. We've got some important things to discuss today. Um, uh, important. Can we just say? You know, I don't feel like you're backing me up it, on this. It, it is important because we had a few questions that tied into what we're doing today. And I had a phone call yesterday. I took you a did. customer called and, and was saying, hey, I want to know about this and this. Right. And I told him, hey. Okay, okay. How about this? This is like the meat and potatoes of what we do here. Yes. This is like an important one because what we're going to talk about today is the whole reason. Is the, is the is, Just shut up. The bagpipes are, the bag are me like, playing and I'm like. I know. He's just like, you're looking at me like I'm some sort of No, no. I like was just like, the, the, I'm waiting for the guy to turn his bagpipe phone off. <laughs> He's got his, uh, his phone ringer. Um. Keith does not think what we're talking about today is important. No, so, I, I do because it's one of those things that I get asked a lot. I yes. mean, almost, I would say at least a couple times a week. Okay. And I'm sure Ricky's right. feeling so, that also. So I'm excited to talk about this one. I, I like it. I've been waiting for this one. I was really glad that we were going to do this. Uh, and for all of you who reminded us of this last week and was like, we need to hear more about this, thank you because this is really important. So today, do you want to tell them what we're doing? No. In your bland, I don't really my give bland, a crap kind of... My bland, I don't... Today we're going to talk about the HDR40, and we're going to compare it to the HDR50. What yes. are the differences? We are going to talk about the differences, and we're going to have a small fist fight over who's better. I already won. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. am not going to lose again. Well, your record is really, you know... It's not in my favor, I know. I trust <laughs> you, I not in know your that. favor, absolutely. But before we get into this, I want to do just a couple of shout-outs. <coughs> See, that's that cold. That you cold hear that? That cold's back in. Man, I hope you're better by Friday. Like you know, pneumonia a, or something. I know. We've got a competition coming. Yeah, we absolutely... <laughs> Um, Rick Hillicross, Hillicross is on. Hey, Rick, good to see you again. Nicholas Amerson is on. Kyle Powers, um, he's he's excited like I am. He's excited, excited for this one. Everybody's been waiting. Kyle, yes. Um, I got Frank Williams on. Shane Cornell is on. Uh, Travis is with us. Hey, Travi. And uh, Sid, who we don't really care Sid. about. Sid, is that Sid from Bastard? Yes. Hey, Sid. Yes. Hey, Sid. Hey, um, our friend Travis, his little puppy, she lost a tooth today. Did you yeah, see that? I, yeah, for those of you who don't follow Travis, you should because that was wild, a little shocking for yes, just a moment. It was, uh, I was on the phone when he was, uh, he's like, what are you eating? And he turns around, he's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, what? He's like, she's chewing on her tooth. Yeah, <laughs> so, and it looked huge. Like the picture yeah. he took made it look like some big old shark tooth, but it's just his puppy. Just a little puppy was, too, so... Yeah. She'll be okay. Um, I've got Richard Rouleau on as well. Eric Smith, Charlie McRae, um, Gary Harrington is on, David Millerson, Shane Cornell. I mean, all the old crew is here. Um, and we're going to get to all these questions. I've got lots already. Lots so already. this is going to be really awesome. I'm going to try and follow along as we go and talk about these. But, it, you know, the timing, I'm going to try and do my best. But Travis is on. You're, you can always ask Travis questions um, about anything, life. Like Dogs, ducks, duck calling, duck calling, whatever it is you need. But before we get started, one more thing I do want to say. I'm trying to string out the suspense. <laughs> let you all just wait on this a little more. Um, on Friday and Saturday, we are going to be at the 2019 Water Greater Salt Lake Greater Salt Lake Waterfowl Calling Championship. Championship. Yes. yes. That, thank you, because I couldn't think of it. I was like, it starts <laughs> like, somehow. 
Um, but this is the uh, Utah's big uh, uh, waterfowling championship. Friday is the amateur call, and uh, Saturday is the professional call. Keith and I and Ambry, we're going to be there Friday between... 4.30 and... Uh, no, 4. four. I said 4, four to 6 four is what six. I said. 4 to 6, we're going to be there. And then on Saturday from 1 to 3, we're going to be there. So all of you people in Salt Lake, in the Salt Lake area, the Utah area, come say hi. We're going to have stuff we're going to be giving away. We're going to do a live on Friday. And on Saturday, we've got a duck call to give away, a couple duck calls couple. we're going to give away. Some we've got Echo, shirts, hats. Echo duck calls. Yes, from Echo. Really beautiful calls. We're also giving one away to the winner of the amateur call. Yes. Yes. So it's going to be really, really fun. We'll take lots of pictures and stuff for all of you out-of-towners. Uh, you can kind of join us and participate, but all of you locals, come on down and say hi, because we're going to be there. And I know you're just dying to say something mean to keep. In <laughs> fact, I have prizes for people who are meanest to keep. We're going to have a dunk thing. <laughs> and Jeffrey's going to be the dunkey. The dunkey. And I, I tell you what, I will, be the cover, I will cover the dollar prize tag <laughs> for everybody that tries to dunk you. How about that? Very good. <laughs> That'll be fun. So come down and check us out. Um, if you have more information, talk to Travis. Um, he's the big dog over there. Travis is going to be the MC, so yes. it's going to be interesting. He is. He's the one. And last time I talked to Travis, there was old, there was seventy five to hundred. Yeah. Con- oh yeah. Contestees. So no, it's big. It's big. It's big. So yes. and they're from nine. I think. I believe he said nine different local. Uh, it's like state, region, regional states region, yes. that'll be coming here. So it'll, it'll be noisy. We're, we're excited. It'll be, it'll be, it'll noisy. be noisy. Yeah. So. All right, let's get into this. So this is what I'm thinking. What if we start with your little 40? I'm just oh, kidding. <laughs> my <laughs> this is, that, I know Glenn's okay. going to kill me. Whoa, whoa. So can I, I'm going to name something, and you're going to tell me you have it or you don't, something like that? Yeah, I think that sounds okay. good. Kinda let's like let's nanny, do nanny, nanny. Yes, <laughs> I like that. Um, but we're going to talk about, first we're going to talk about the difference between the regular 40 and the anniversary 40, and then we'll get into this 50. Get into the 50. All right? So bring this camera a little bit closer. Try not to burn anybody. Um, and Keith, <laughs> tell us about this 40. So this is the anniversary edition 40. The main couple differences between the regular 40 and the anniversary 40 are the Q muffler. And then also we install on the, I hope there's one in here because there's supposed to be. I'm going to take a peek first. Nope, we don't. We install a K&N muffler. This so this a, one, this one we just pulled off the line, so yeah, it's not is, quite yeah, ready to go. This is not, a, this is not a finished go. motor. The, Neither this is not. this one, I believe, is. So yes, the K and N props. They're prop motors. They're prop motors. There we go. Not, not propellers, but like like movie props. Movie props. You know, so like, so we, that, that's that that's the two main differences, and it's about a six hundred dollar difference, regular price. But there's a promotion on the anniversary where it's only a two hundred dollars difference. Yes. The muffler retails for four hundred and eighty. And the Canon air filter is about seventy. Right. So you're going to get six hundred dollars worth of stuff for two bills. For two bills. So it's a great. Like there is, it's an absolute no-brainer that you should definitely get the anniversary edition right. over the regular edition. I mean, no question. No question. And they both might. One of my probably shouldn't share this with you now, but one of my favorite things about this forty anniversary and the other one, three-year factory Briggs and Stratton warranty. Yes. Hands down, best warranty best in the warranty business. In the business. And then the frame assembly and the drive assembly is a full one-year parts and labor right. warranty covered by Mudbud. All right. So Okay, so what else comes with this anniversary edition? So do you have the... Everybody has... If you don't have this on your motor, and Jeff and I have both driven them with it and without it, and if you don't have the new momentary bump switch... Right here. You got it. Oh, okay, I've got it. Got I've got it. it on my 50 right here. You do. Oh, so On man. my 40. So this? and and we did have a customer who wanted to put a momentary bump switch into his handle. Right. And he sent me some photos and he did a really cool job. So what he had done was pulled the box apart, took and cut the stainless steel bracket inside of the handle a little bit. Wow. And put the momentary bump switch up in the front. Right. And I mean it looks clean, it looks nice. Sure. I think it's Two wires, two little jumper wires. So it is something you can add. Something you can add. You could yes. add that if you wanted. It did take yes. him a little bit of work. Yes. He, he kind of had to get some stuff going. And if I was really smart, I'd probably save the pictures, which <laughs> I hope I did. I just got to find them on my computer. Because right. he did a really nice job. Yes, does, you have the bump switch. Does this bump switch come on the regular 40, not the anniversary edition? 
Uh, yes, it does. I believe it does. Yes, it does. But that is, but that's one of our newer features that's, that on was, these motors. That was a new one for the anniversary for edition. For the anniversary style. edition yeah. style, yes. Instead of, and then when we did that, we just moved the kill switch back right. and redesigned the handle. So we've got a bigger out, outside diameter handle. Yes, mine has that too. We've yes. got the bigger handle for, for the anniversary Yours edition. Mine's camoed and mine's not. Mine it's is not camoed. Yes. I'm awesome. But this is the kill switch. I actually love that the kill switch has been pushed back just a yes. little bit. Before, it was up a little closer and would kind of get your hand all wrapped into it. Gives you a little, a little more freedom of movement, yes. I think. Do you have a tr power trim switch? I sure do. Oh, dang it. But I this is I'd not. On but this isn't my only one. You have more than one? I sure do. Do no. you? Uh, I think you maybe do. Yes, I do. do right over here. Bring this camera right over here. and let's. So let's do. We're talking about the side power trim switch. It's pretty similar to what the outboards run. Yes. We've incorporated that in the anniversary editions. So it's a great little feature when you're outside the boat and you want to raise the motor instead of trying to dance over the top of the boat to reach the handle. You've got your little switch right here. Perfect little addition. Small little additions, but big helpful things that have been added to to the motors. Awesome. What else? What else is new on this uh, this little motor? Like, why this 40? Why this 40? I, I told you the main thing that I love about this motor first. Three year warranty. Three year warranty. Three year warranty. Right. I think I think we're you know. What about what about your muffler? My muffler is the. Is your muffler as good as my muffler? Yes, it's a performance cue. It's you got the, the flex bat, the flex uh, pipes in it, so right. it's a lot more um, sturdy. It takes the vibration a lot better. So yes. new and improved and a great muffler. It's a beautiful muffler. It's quiet, but still gives you the horsepower quiet, you need. Quiet, yes. It's got that balance between. Besides, besides the stock muffler, if you're going to put a better muffler on it, this is the one. This is going to be your quietest muffler. Yes. 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 Love this muffler. What else do you have in yours? Oil. Well, good for you, Keith. Although this prop model probably doesn't probably doesn't have, <laughs> probably doesn't have any it. in it. Oh, we've we've got the uh, the stainless steel throttle lever. Yes, stainless steel throttle lever, which is a nice improvement over the old style. And I know there's a mm -hmm. lot of guys out that run them still with the old black duck bill, and those yeah. were great, except when they got cold and you tried to move them or adjust Ooh. them. The little safety screw that held them in position, the handle would crack, would and then crack, it was. Yes. Uh, Nightmare yeah, to replace. Up. Those were those were not as fun. I know. So, what about <coughs> what? What about my really amazing, fancy, specialized stainless steel heads that I have in this? You have performance. I have Iron performance Mountain Iron Mountain performance heads in my fifty. Do you? No, I don't. No, you no, don't. I have the <laughs> stock factory heads, but on the 40, they have been improved over the 35 and the 37. Sure. So they are still they really are brilliant heads. Yes. Great heads. Your motor and my motor, the internals and the block and everything are the same. What separates them is the performance work done to the heads to get you that extra horsepower. Yes. So, yes, that's where you're going to be. Right. Well, and just flat out uh, horsepower. horsepower. Yes. Let's horsepower. talk about horsepower. How many ponies? Uh, mine puts out roughly right about 40, maybe a hair more. How about yeah. yours? I'm going to go with a solid 50. 50. 50 Dang. horses on so this. So you can put four, including yourself, I heavyweight could, guys with I all your put, gear. I could put, you know, one half of my offensive line. <laughs> In, in your boat. Into my boat. And still get up on, still plane. Get up on plane. Yes. Yeah. That is why I will always prefer the 50. Yes. Those horses, I mean, I can't, I, can you have enough horsepower? Can, can you? Some uh, people uh, uh, obviously uh, uh. know. You no. You can't. But no. I like old faithful you reliability. Know, it is, there is no doubt. That 40 is. The, the, a you know brilliant what? motor. When it comes down to it, they're both great motors. They really are. Both really you know, great motors. They really are. And they're really, really similar. I mean, really similar. Everything. It really is just those mountain heads, those those high performance heads are going to give you just that little that, extra, that, extra that much push more. Your offensive lineman. To get my offensive line. <laughs> going up and rolling. Yes. And you know, that has a lot to do with it. 
your boat, the load, right. and the more, you know, it's, it's really simple. You have weight, you need power. And if you're overweighted exactly. like everybody that we've like seen Like we all are. Ramp, Be, who, whoever is going out there, I want to know which one of you is ever going out like underweight. You're like, man, I don't have anybody with me. I have... I just I just have enough room. They're lying. <laughs> They're lying to but you. But when I was in Arkansas, we ran into a group of gentlemen that were from Kansas. <laughs> yes, yes, I oh, see no. the victim. Yeah, they were from Kansas. And there was four of them in this boat. Right. I would guarantee you that all four of them were 300-pound plus guys. <laughs> yes. The boat was just about underwater. I was yeah, like, it, I'm looking low. at I'm it's looking at, at my friend Dale and Clint and I'm thinking, think you're, they're overloaded. And then they had all their decoys in the dog. Yes, like, and the dog. And my safe. dog's like a, like a linebacker as yeah. well. So, I mean. <laughs> not safe. So, But horsepower really helps with getting up on step yes. and carrying those extra heavy loads that a lot of guys tend to carry. Absolutely. So, um, so both of these motors are just, are fantastic. These anniversary editions that's what you're looking for. Like we said before, doing bumping from the regular 40 into the anniversary edition of the 40 is a no-brainer. Right. Like oh, it's something you money, should yes. absolutely do. For that for that price, you'll never be able to get that kind of horsepower no. for that money. Just do it. There's well, no there's no reason. Yeah, you can't buy the muffler. Right. After Just, the the deal. muffler alone is worth the deal. Right. Absolutely. Oh, exactly. A- absolutely. The difference between this 40 and this 50 is the iron uh, is the Iron Mountain performance heads. Yeah. Um, uh, you're just going to get a little more horsepower. They're they're both really well built. They're all built here. Yes. Um, like what is it? 99% of this motor is built here in yes. the U.S. You know, and that's one thing about us. We support our local people. Absolutely. Our, our metal shop, the cuts, our powder coaters. Yes. Our casting. All of that stuff is done within 20 miles of. Our home base. Uh, right here. And that's what we, we like. We keep our Utah yes. economy rocking and We take and so much pride in that. And it's something that we don't do a good enough job of making sure that, because we are really proud of it. Yes. We don't shout it out enough. So I do always want to take that uh, and make sure that we all know that, that these, these motors, the Briggs and Stratton, is, they're in uh, Ohio? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I knew that. <laughs> I knew they're somewhere there. They're somewhere near there. But those guys are so great. They they do such a great job. Their facility out there, which is I think it, I don't know if they've moved into that new facility or not, but they've got a great facility out there. They're they're brilliant out there, and they uh, boy they're they 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 really do the mud works, motor world a great they really do a great job, and they work well with us. I know they have the, always treated us really well, treated everybody really well. The ideas that we have for little improvements on those kind of things, they're always yes. looking to be cutting edge, and they are just like we are. Absolutely. Um, all right, so I want to let's get into some of these questions, and then we'll kind of bounce back and hit this up one more time, so everybody knows um because they're coming in fast and wild uh rick rick has a good question he says how would you determine what boat and motor combination is best for your style of hunting and i can help answer this a little bit a little bit just a little bit in fact all i can do rick is really point you in the best direction because everybody's style is slightly different whether you're in timber whether you're in marsh um it's going to be different the size of boat the motor all of this your best bet is going to be to talk to Dave Reynolds. He is the man who knows everything you need. Um, or your local dealer local will also dealer. really be able to help you out. The one who is going to be in your area that knows the hunting best in your area, they're going to be the ones that you're going to want to talk to. Dave at xlboats.net. Talk to him. He will be able to get you the things that you need to. He's going to point you in the direction of your dealer that's going to be closest to you and really has got all that info that you want. Yeah. Um, you can also talk to Clint as well, has some good info, and that's Clint at mudbuddy.com. Yes. Um, excellent. So, um, because there's a lot that well, goes and, into that question. And, then, and talk to your local guys what they like to run. I Absolutely. like, I love our new pro hole. I like the big, wide open, clean, stack everything where you want. Right. Some people want And I don't. Boxes. I don't like that. I want, I need more storage. You have there. cameras I've and got stuff. a thousand yeah, things so. that have got to go in there. Yes. So, and, and that's another nice thing about XL Boats, who we work so closely with. Um, they're endlessly customizable with the options that you can put in it, which is one right. of the actually the nice things about that Pro Hole is that you can get those gun boxes right. or not. 
Um, but they've got lots of different options, which is really nice. Um, but as far as the motor you're going to put on that, you you really do want to be talking to somebody who can really figure out the size of boat, the load, all of that kind of well, stuff. How it's know, geared. Right, everything. how it's geared. Yes. And just, you know, if you hunt with three guys on a big heavy boat, you probably want the 50. If it's you yeah. and another guy and a dog, the 40 is going to do you fine. But it all, a lot of it's the boat. The boat and yeah. the weight. The boat and the weight. Weight. Weight to power distribution. Yes. This, this is the Bible. That you we can also live by. get a lot of good information on Facebook. There is a page. It's called Mud Buddy's Own Mud Buddy Owners Mud Group. Mud Buddy Owners Group. And we have a lot of dealers on there and a lot of great loyal Mud Buddy customers. Yeah. And I know you're on there and oh, Ricky's yeah. on there. I'm on there. So we're there to help you there when you've got questions also. Absolutely. And you don't have to worry about getting bombarded by yeah, other, other other things. Other things. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, okay, awesome. Nicholas Emerson, what is the best gauge wire when wiring all of your accessories and lights in your boat? That is a <laughs> tough question. Uh, Nick, that's a, that's a really good boat question. And these motor guys are idiots. I, I, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I'm I'm, just I kidding. would think you would be um, probably a 14 gauge, yeah. 16 right in there, just depending on what you're running and how much current you're trying to pull. Yes. And there's there's a science to all that kind of stuff. I don't know it, but I would be bet most of the wiring that's in your boat that comes from the factory is probably 14 and 16 gauge. Yes, and is what I'm gonna say with that. If you need, Nick, if you need Nicholas, I don't, Nick or Nicholas, you can tell me either one. Um, if you need a more specific answer to that question. Email um, and Ricky. <laughs> Email Enrique at pyromaniac at mudbuddy.com. I'm just kidding. That's not it. Um, Enrique, yes. Send it to him or to, uh, you know, to anybody. Uh, let's see. Hey there, guys. That's from Dave. Shane Cornell. He's packed up his stuff, his gear. Yes. Shane. Good job. Because you've got that, uh, I have got a, uh, I've got a Sitka. This is our... Uh, Oh, that's the Excel, Excel version. Excel I've version. also got a Mud Buddy, if you'd rather. Um, but this is the uh, green Sitka hat. I've got that for you. Uh, Shane Cornell. When I'm done, I'm going to post a link at the top of this, uh, at the description. Um, click that, fill out your info. We'll get that off to you. All right. Thanks, Shane. Good job. Yes, we'll be good prepared. job. Better, um, better early than late, because you don't want to be wait, that wait. guy frantically Friday night before opener. Yes. Like everybody is. Right. I mean, I mean, uh, that's why I want to see how many people I actually have because that almost is part of the fun. Right. Is that last minute scramble? No, it's not. <laughs> Gary Harrington, Gary, you and I, we're gonna discuss this some other time. But he says, Jeffrey, you need to adjust the brim on that hat. <laughs> I'm they're, guessing they're you don't love. Brim. This is a trucker flat brim. This is how it's supposed to be. Welcome to 2019. Okay, <laughs> that's all I have to say. He's um, probably a little bit older than. Than you uh, are, and you know, maybe us, us I don't want to. Guys, we're not as hip. I don't want to make guys. assumptions, but I'm saying this is very popular, Gary. Everybody wants your hat. <laughs> if you want Jeffrey's hat, <laughs> they're available. They are available. Uh, Max Montgomery, I got my mud bunny. He said mud What's bunny. Mud, mud I like. Bunny? I like that. I like. That's just a tab. Mud bunny. <laughs> That's what you should name. Maybe we should name our next model. Our, the next model, the mud. Our bunny. mud buddy, <laughs> mud bunny. <laughs> Mud buddy, mud buddy. Uh, he got his service and ready for fishing over the weekend. Max, Good job. I want pictures when you get out fishing. I yes. love that. I cannot wait for this weather to warm up so we can get out fishing. Guys, send, us your, so send, send Jeffrey your photos. If you send your photos, we're going to take that, that you're willing to yes. allow us to use them on our social media page, on Facebook, oh, yeah. or whatever. So oh, I always, I always shout you out. Those, when you send yeah. them, I always like to call out who, who sent them. And so send, I love all those send pictures. Send us your photos. We want to see um, some really cool photos. Yes, absolutely. Drake Modog, time to start blocking decoys again. Yes. Yes, it absolutely is. Better, you know, better, er, er, was it, early bird gets the worm? Early bird gets the early duck gets the corn? The corn, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Bud, bud. <laughs> Richard Rouleau, um, I got all my decoys, all my duck decoys put away for the season. Now just getting ready to go snoo go snow goose hunting. Snoo ghosts. Snoo ghosts. Snoo ghosts. Look, what I don't, kind do of... you hunt snoo ghosts? <laughs> I don't. I never have. No. <laughs> uh, that's a new thing for me. Um, awesome. Good job. Good job, Richard. You see, he's prepared. He's prepared. He knows what's going on. Luke Blanco, when it's really cold out, do you start your mud buddy on the way to the ramp and let it run? Seems like when it's cold, my mud buddy doesn't want to start or stay run. I don't know if you have. I guess it depends on how far away from where you're at. I mean, 
we usually, once we pull up to Farmington, as soon as we get out, the first person out usually fires yeah, up the motor. Yeah, we generally fire it up as, like, yeah, as we're kind of backing it in. Yeah, we like take, to have it on know, for a little take bit. Take the straps off. Get, well, the, get your waders and your the, gear on. I have this horrible paranoia that I'm going to put it in the water and not be able to get it to start. Right. So I always like to have it running beforehand. Just I, I would say four or five minutes, maybe ten. But I don't know if you need to, you know. Yeah, I guess I it just ten do, might be a little much. Yeah. But also, I mean, that could be different with your EFI version, your carbureted right. motor. You might want to exactly. look at some differences in that. Carbureted, in the cold. carbureted version would be the longer the better. The longer the better. But if, if you're, you're running down motor. the freeway 20 or 30 minutes, <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go that long. You know? How else are you going to get down the freeway if that motor not pushing <laughs> you along? So, yeah. Um... Comes while you're at it. Oh, it looks like people are already replying. Let's see. Barry, no way my boat is still full of decoys. No way, uh, B- Brady, no way my boat is still full of decoys and mud and everything. Plus, I told Keith yesterday we were playing with 20 inches of snow up here yeah, in Wisconsin. He was, he was like, I gotta go. I'm like, what are you gonna do? He's okay. like, I've got 20 inches of snow to shovel. Oh, I'm like, man. good luck. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> like 20 inches. I, I told him, I hope you have a snow blower or a, a big plow on an ATV or something because. Bra- yeah, uh, hopefully. But Brady also loves your sweatshirt. Yes. And I wasn't going to say anything. You can't say anything. I, I want to say it. Okay. These, not too much. These sweatshirts will be available next. They are actually in the building. They are in the building, yes. There's just a couple more steps i got to make, but next week you they will be available. They will be available, yes. yes. Because they are here. They are they, today. I, I'm looking right at the box from here. They so they are, are here. here. So, so yes. they are coming, guys. Progress. Progress being made. <laughs> We're happy about I, Trust me, some of the stuff is moving a little bit slower than Jeff and I would like oh, it man. to. But we've got the, sh- the sweatshirts coming. Yeah, so. Yes. There. We've got Mud Buddy. We've got Excel. So we've got either way you want to go. Or if you want one of each. Um, Dylan Jones, what's the best motor for the river and boat? I mean, it depends on your boat. But river it, it, it's all load i mean if you're carrying yeah. heavy loads a lot of people the 50s is the way to go you don't want to be underpowered and be mad and frustrated i should have i should have i should have if you've got any doubt go bigger yeah absolutely you know that's pretty <laughs> it, yeah go bigger yes, you know go bigger it, this 50 it, right here is yeah. for you it, like when you on. and i and ambry go out the 40 would be good. Four, we have oh, yeah, no. Because we have that luxury. Right. But the 40 would be good. It's fine for us. Right. But we're also not, we don't have bags and bags of decoys. Well, we don't have an overweight dog. And <laughs> Ambry weighs 75 pounds. Yeah, Ambry You're is a tiny human. You're 150. I'm not going to mention my weight. So, uh, yeah, a 40 would be great for us. But if you're running a big dog, a larger dog, two or three heavier guys, yeah. you've got to go with it. It's well, better to why, have more than less. And why not be safe right. with that? I mean, this is a big purchase anyway. But you um, can, if you do buy a 40, you can do the heads. We can yeah, do a few things, other things, but you, can, you, you want know, You can always it. talk to Travis over there at BPS. You can talk to, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, if you have trouble deciding, call, talk to Dave. You can talk to myself and Ricky, Micah. Our guys of the customer service will help you out. Right. You know, yeah, we, don't, we don't want you to buy a, a 40 and you have... Three guys are 300 yeah. pounds each. No, a we, bunch of we gear. want the perfect motor for you, whether right. that is the 40 or the 50 right. or a mini or a long tail. Right. All of these options, there is a po- perfect motor for you. Like and share. Like and share. Everybody, really, if you do like the show, please let us know. Give us a like. Give us a comment. We we love to hear from you all. Um, Charlie McRae, uh, with EFI, no need for aftermarket pipe? Question mark. I'm still running single 42 millimeter carb and pushing 28 miles per hour in a 1754. Looking for more hole, hole shot and more load carry. Um, the muffler's going to help. Also, um, the prop. The yeah, prop the prop is going to be a... Making sure you're not running a wore out prop. Um, and then the next thing we could probably do would be uh, check the gearing to get, get yeah. it going. It'll get it a little yeah, bit absolutely. more low end so it gets up and rolls a little bit faster. You don't lose much on the upper end, but you get that bigger load up uh-huh, and rolling faster. That, that nice... And, that you know, muffler's going to help. Yeah. So, and then also your prop. Yeah, your prop. Prop's a big one because a lot of people look at their props like, oh, it's not <laughs> wore out until you pull the tape measure on, and you're like, oh, it's only ten and a half inches. A ten and a half inch prop, guys, is wore out. Terrell Hansen, hey guys, decoys are still everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Got to build some rigs this summer, also. Absolutely. Uh, Tyrell, um, I've got a. Uh, let's see. Ooh, here we go. 
Tyrell's a local guy. Well, excellent. So the, 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 this little... Uh, I got this for you. Yeah. Tyrell. Tyrell. Is it Tyrell? Tyrell. Tyrell. Or Tyrell. 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 And this is the Donk Outdoors. This is their new tumbler. Yes. That and they've that's got right, right here. That's one from, from a, one of our local Utah guys up in northern Utah about yes, an hour is. from here. Yeah. He dropped those off. We did a little bit of service work on his boat because he's really prepared. Cause he's getting ready for bow fishing. Bow fishing So he time. brought it in. We Absolutely. checked the belt tension, greased the drive, and a few other things. And he dropped these, these uh, tumblers yes. off for yes, us. Yes, he did. So it's Donk Outdoors. Donk Outdoors right here. And he is a great guy and just he's ready and excited yes. to shoot some fish out of his Mud Buddy and Excel boat. He really is. So Tyrell, um, in a little bit, check for the link up above. I will get that on there. Um, fill out that info and we'll get that sent off to you. Um, Ivan Jensen, Sport V Remote Steer in Australia. Is the Raptor prop with the changeover from the two blade? With a chain what size over. motor are you running? Yeah, so it'll be a, a, re, a remote steer sport V. The, the Raptor. I mean, will I'm work guessing good prob probably a 44, probably somewhere. It'll be a, probably a bigger with the remote steer, would be my guess. Um, I think you do great with that Raptor prop, unless it's a smaller motor. Right, 36, no. A, a 36, 44, no, but the 44, 44 a 50, yes. it's a. Depending on what size motor he has, that, that'll have a lot to do with it. Because on a Sport V, we can't adjust gearing like we can on the belt drive. Right. So you have to kind of watch what you're doing. And a yes. lot of, what are you running? Are you running just deeper water? Are you running a lot of mud and vegetation? Right. So there's some other things. Email me, Keith. It's K-E-I-T-H at mudbuddy.com. And ask us those questions. Let me know what boat you have, what motor you have, and what kind of water you're running in shallow water yes. deep water vegetation and that to go all... to go along with that i i want pictures bad from australia in fact <laughs> they have ducks in australia I, yeah apparently huh? they sure do <laughs> um but i will even practice my australian accent oh if you send me some pictures and next week if i get some of those <laughs> keith and i will do a little a little, do a little shout out from down under <laughs> That, that's the best I could do. That's pretty much all I got. The, the shrimp on the baby. That's about as good as I got. Ivan, uh, send us those and send Keith a uh, message. We'll get that question answered properly. Um, Jordan Lockheed, love my 40, outruns most other motors. You're absolutely right. It really will outrun most other yes. other motors. It's a, motor. it's a brilliant motor. Can't say enough about it. Um, although David Milstrom, very next, says, I love my 5,000. Oh, so, David, you know yes, you are 100% correct. I would love which either one I was yeah. running at the time. Yeah. I love our 50 on the Salty. It's a great motor, all the power we need, and then. <laughs> Kate Brooks says, Nothing runs like my old school 5,500 BAMF motor. He's B A M F. B A M F. Yeah. I'm not sure what that stands for. You can probably figure it out. Yes. Yes, I know what it is. Send Keith a message and tell him what that means. Yeah, Tate's one of our local guys that lives up north of us. Yeah, Tate. Brooke, he's up north. That's right. Yeah. Um, Shane Cornell, he also has a 55. That's awesome. They were great What motors. year was that? When, did, when was the last? Yeah, when did we do the 55? That's before my time, actually. Oh, way before your way time. Before way time. before your time. We were building those when I started here. In two end of two thousand like the eighteen sixties, like around the Civil no. War time. It was about two thousand end of two thousand middle of two thousand six is when we started building the the forty five mag, the fifty five mag, the six thousand, the seven thousand. Right, yes, it right. Was in that area. Okay, I've got Ron Demers asking you. Still make a fourteen horsepower? No, no. Coming in a long tail. In a long tail. In a long tail. But right Eight. now it's the seven it's in the seven. long tail, but. Coming. Well, I wouldn't say I soon. Mean, not soon. It's in the motors here. It's now it's redesigned the frame. Right. The whole, it's, so getting, it's, it's getting the rest of it, but a yes. 14 horsepower will be. And that will be available only in a long tail. tail. Only in a only long, in a long tail. tail. And that's going to replace replace the old Kohler 12 horse that we used to have. Right. Kohler discontinued the 12. Now it's a 14. Right. And I was in a 12 horse. Clint had one. Oh, and yeah. That little thing, you know what? Everybody's like the 12 horse. It was a two to one gear reduction with a yeah. decent sized prop. With his big hiney in mind, we can still roll <laughs> 10 to 14 miles an hour, yeah. you know? I mean, so what more do you need? We got away from all the guys who were walking along the dike. That's, That's what we got away from. Ah. Dike hikers. Dike hikers. Sky busters. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not go. a big fan of sky busters. No. I Let know. them work. You know, there's nothing better in the world than you can ask the guys out there. 
when that deep, when that duck comes around and it cups up and he sees you stand up and he has that look in his eye and these guys know what I'm talking about when you blow his head off. Right. That's a way better feeling than looking at him at 50, <laughs> 60 yards and, and praying that you hit him. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. All right, Nicholas Heiser says, I love my HD 7000. Yeah, great motor. With the HDR lower unit, caught with dual carbs and BPS performance kit on an 1860. He can run 35 with a hammer prop. Yeah. Yeah. He's got, he's got some. And... I'm not done yet. And he's also running the console side, the hot foot. The hot foot. That sounds like a sweet rig, man. Pictures. I want a picture of that bad. That sounds yeah. like a really the sweet rig. The 7000s were amazing <laughs> yeah. motors. They really were a lot of power. What do, do we got something in the box for him? Why not? I don't know. All right, I got another... Uh, another tumbler? I got another tumbler. This is the copper color tumbler. I wasn't going to... Open it up, but it's that same from Donk Outdoors. Donk Outdoors, local, yes. local Utah boy. Yes, I shouldn't say boy; he's probably as old as I am. <laughs> so um, that is for Nicholas Heiser. Um, check back in a little bit, and I'm going to have that link on there. The link will appear as soon as we get off the show. With, it well, will appear a couple as minutes. soon as I feel like it. <laughs> Before he goes home, I promise. All right. uh, Matt Cowell's on. Hey, Matt, hey, glad Matt. you made it. Um, Casey Miller's playing Walker. Monica Harris. Hello. Monica. Monica. We have, a, we have a, a woman on. She needs a shirt. I, I do. Monica, I don't have the hoodies ready, but I do have a Mud Buddy shirt. Now, this is like the, this is the really the small one, but I've got some other versions of this. I've got some real sizes, but well, yes. this is the Mud Buddy shirt. This is our women's shirt. The women's shirt. We actually have a women's. In. They just came in. But we just grabbed the smallest size. Yeah, I just, grabbed, I just grabbed the one on top. But uh, Monica, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a shirt for you. Um, so, when the link comes, like I said, fill that out. Don't forget to put the size that you need, and, and we're going to get this out. We're going to get that off to you. All right, Monica. Thanks for watching. Yes, thank you. It's always. What was that? Yes. Oh, we, it, very nice. Roll Tide. Except they got beat this year. Nah, I don't. don't hey, I got to give a shout out. And you know what? I'm 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 disappointed in myself because I can't remember the guy's name. It was early back in the season. Late October, mid-November, when I was in a waiter dilemma. I didn't know right. where to go. I'd lost two pair of waiters earlier that year. And one of the guys from, I want to say, Wisconsin, Minnesota area, said, Hey, Keith, Rogers, 3-1. and one. Right. Dude, amazing. Yeah. Standing in that water in yeah. Arkansas up to <laughs> my waist for three to four hours. You know, do we need a, should I be concerned that you can't remember? I mean, are you, uh, are you starting to slip I, Keith I just went, a little bit? I went back and tried to find his name on the post and stuff and I All couldn't right, do All right, do we need it. him to, we need, do we yeah. need him to? So if you're the one that recommended the Rogers 3-in-1 waiters, yes. excellent advice. I love those things. Um, very Amazing. Very good. good job. Yeah, from Rogers. It's They're always great. nice, it's always nice to get a, a tip from a fellow hunter. I know, we love recommendations. Yes, we really we do. do. Um, Eric Smith, that side trim is hot. Yes. I 100% agree. And you know, it, it's funny. When you've used it and you don't have it, it really sucks. No, honestly, <laughs> these motors sometimes are like are, are like Apple. I'm going to compare Mud Buddy to Apple right now. Or I hope nobody like stones me or anything. And but, Ricky's going to. But. <laughs> <laughs> they, you, they fix problems before you realize that... That is something that you need. They're like, here, I have an answer. I have a solution to a problem you didn't even know you right. had. Right. And then once you got it, you're like, oh, I can't even believe that I went so long without it. Well, it's like That's our, why uh, Mud Buddy is like Apple. Like our trim switch. <laughs> we have we had two boat, two marketing boats at the time. One had the trim switch one and had the grab trim, bar, and the other didn't. one didn't. And you were praying yes. you didn't get stuck with the one without oh, the trim switch. Man. Because on the handle, grab bar handle is just so much nicer. Yep. When you're running. Absolutely. But then I've been in Arkansas running through the trees. Not sure I would run a grab bar. Because you're running through the trees. Right. Don't want that thing to hit you or whatever. Or yeah. you hit something with it. So. Yeah. Um, uh, you're stuck. Yes. <laughs> I'm that not good. one there. I can't see. Sid? Oh, yeah. You can't see. No, no. Oh, we're not talking no. about Sid. No, I don't want to talk about Sid. No, the one above. Zach. Do we want to... What kind of warranty yeah, is on a 50? Warranty so, with the 50. With the warranty on a 50 is one year motor and frame assembly. Yes. So when we open the, the motor up on the 40 and we have the heads done in Iron Mountains, 
the, the Briggs war- warranty is void. But Mud right. Brother stands behind it for one full year, parts and labor. Parts and labor. So, very good. Um, Hi, good. Sid. Sid. Sid's a good guy. He gives me a lot of crap, and his wife makes the most amazing banana bread. Shout out to Lori. Yes. Sid We've all bread. heard about the banana bread. Well, Some I'm of us have not tried it, Sid. <laughs> Don't talk to Sid. He can't help oh, you. Oh, Sid, Sid. You have to talk to Lori. Got you have it. To go, Lori. You have to go to the boss. I'm gonna Come need. On. I'm gonna need to get get uh, past the gatekeeper. Yes. To, the, to get my banana bread. Yes. Um, Brandon Smith, can you guys incorporate a dual position throttle cable on the fuel manifold? It's an interesting idea. I have. We're gonna. Mm. I, we're gonna have to send that off to the R and D. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, have I don't no know. No idea. It's a. Uh, interesting. Uh, well, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna shuttle that right off to somebody who could actually know what so, that means. Email me that question, and I'll go talk to the engineer. Nice. And we'll see what we can do. Yes. I have no idea. Engineers, you know. Got to love them. Um, can they add a side trim? Um, aftermarket. Could they get that extra added I'm later? I'm sure if somebody comes out with that idea. Right now, Mud Buddy doesn't have any. And the big thing, the, the, the one of the harder reasons why you can't old, add it to your older one is the switch is a square it's, plate cut yes, out. Yes, it's, it's actually built into the... It's cut out the, into uh, the um, frame. base plate. Yeah. So it, it could be done, but it's going to take a little bit of engineering and somebody to do that. So I'm sure you can do it. If that guy can put his b- momentary bump switch... Up in his handle, I'm sure somebody can come. I'm up sure with somebody like could do that. some way. And maybe our friends over Backwater Performance is something that they're looking at and working on. Could be. You never know. I you don't never know. know what they got cooking over there. Um, Nicholas Emerson, yes, you can get the HDR40 in the Optifade camo. Uh, this is the 50 in that camo, but you can get it in. You've got well, we got and Tim. four different, yes. five different camos. You can get it in the OD Green, um, Optifade Timber, or Marsh. The Hypergrass, hypergrass, and then the old school shadow grass. Yes, those we are the ones. We don't do much of the shadow grass anymore. No, when I first started here grass. twelve years ago, that was the camel. It's out of fashion, out of vogue. Yeah, it's not in vogue right now. It's a good camel, though. And you know what? I love Nakia. I love the color of a Nakia camel. Yes, agreed. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try and get to the last couple. Uh, last got few like of these. Two more shirts to give away. Okay. I uh, yes. Um, Brandon Smith, I both fish with an empty 1866 Fowler, put six 32-gallon barrels of fish. Hmm, wait. You say over 400 hours on my 37 HDR. Looks like we got some, uh, I'm not sure what all that meant, Brandon. He's got a Who lot might... of weight if he's got six barrels <laughs> yes, full of carp. Yes, six barrels of fish. Yes. In his big 1866 Fowler. I mean, that's a big, uh, with a 37 HDR. I think it's up to I, I think Brandon. Time for this five thousand, this beautiful five thousand right behind me. That's a lot of me. six. That's a lot of yeah. Fish. You're putting a lot of fish in there. Time for time for an upgrade, and my the friend. Carp too. <laughs> um, Sid's running a forty on his eighteen sixty. Absolutely. Sid's running. Sid don't ever run anywhere. <laughs> uh, David Milstrom, I've got a, He's running an eighteen fifty four with a five thousand. Pushes it great. Absolutely. Sid said something mean about you. <laughs> um, Sid forgets how much power I have in my butt. That's, that's Sid's problem. <laughs> okay, Dalton Chancellor. I have a uh, 1752 Prodigy with a stock 37. Uh, that stage, maybe what stage should I put on my motor to haul more weight? That stage. So he's got, he wants to put stage, so he's. you can go with... Heads, cam, okay. piston, rods. There's a lot of aftermarket stuff out there. Right. DPS carries all that stuff. Um, it just depends on how much more power you need and how much more money you want to spend because each kit is a little bit more money. Yes. So, great. Give Travis a call over Backwater Performance. 385-695-3811. Nice. Very well done. I dialed that number <laughs> you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know. He's on speed dial now. <laughs> Dalton, I've got a shirt for you. This is our mud buddy. This is our fishing shirt. Fishing shirt. Uh-huh. It's that performance material. Uh, we'll get that sent out to you. Click the link uh, later today. When that's it's up available. above or when it's available and uh, fill out your info and we'll get that sent out to you. Thank you, Dalton. Appreciate it. Um, so you no longer make the 45 Black Death. No, no. not really. No, we don't. Um, Everybody's going EFI. It's the the wave of the future. Everybody needs to 
I know some of the older school guys like myself and stuff like that. You know, a lot of them are still leaning carburetor, but the right. waves rolling and EFI is where everybody's going. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Warner, remember that if you have three defensive linemen in a boat, that's going to be different than three average guys. Uh, yes. yes. I, I had a guy talk to you last year about that. They were all over 300 and something pounds. Yeah. I'm like, good. Better say, yeah, pounds. better safe than sorry. That's why, <laughs> yes, if you have. Yeah, yes, his, exactly. His offensive line was big. Glade, Glade is on from hey, BPS. Glade. Hey, Glade. I'm glad to see you. Randy Webb from Michigan. Um, oh, Ambry. oh, is Ambry on? Hello, Ambry. Everybody say hi to Ambry. Are you home yet? <laughs> Maybe she got stuck in the everybody, airport like I did. Everybody's really looking for for my hat. I know. I'm I'm really famous hey, you with know this what? hat right now. Okay, Jeff's listen, hat's for listen. sale. I will yes, sell you, can, you Jeff's hat. You can absolutely get these hats. I mean, you can buy them right now on... Um, if you go to the XL website, these, it's actually an XL hat. It's not a mud buddy hat. That's okay. They want yours. yours. Like me. Like what? Because they off. take it off and give it away. Take really? it off and give it away. Is it because I? Because I like I'm ugly in it. They, they're mad about the flat brim part of it. Uh, no, I think they like the flat brim part of it. They're it's just, just the older guys have a hard time. Because we always. I mean, we, the first thing you did when you got your hat is you rolled it around and you made it. A little oh, bit I more. I see what he's saying. Randy Webb. He says, "Give me that hat. I'll fix it." Free hats are best. <laughs> I, they're Randy, all mad about it. I get it. Randy, I get it. Set, click on the link when he decides to post it. If I and post I will it, get you his hat. Apparently, he wants you to have a hat. He doesn't lock and his gonna, office door. And he's gonna. I promise, I'll get you a real. Oh, I'll get man. you a clean one. I won't let if you I know where this hat goes. <laughs> um, okay, would these motors work for shallow water steelhead fishing in currents? Sure. Yes, absolutely. One hundred percent. They're uh, they're they run best in shallow water yeah they are meant they are meant for shallow water like that um a lot of the the boats they can you put a trolling motor on them um to put that up you just crank it right out of the water and let your uh let your trolling motor take over um there also is a way to tighten these um the swivel on them so they'll they'll be really stiff so in the water they don't they don't turn in in a current. Yeah. So but they'll just make sure stay you loosen, loosen it up a little bit when you when you're going duck hunting, if you're especially if you're shooting that timber, you want to make <laughs> yeah, sure you, you loosen that back up. you want to make sure you're loose, yeah. But no, they really do work well for fishing and and with trolling. Running through the marsh is a great experience. Running through the timber is exhilarating. <laughs> That's all I gotta Actually, say. I don't think I've ever posted that video. I have a video that I'm about to that I'm about to put. That's you running through the uh, timber. Was, it's pretty exciting. Was that the early morning one at like 4:30 in the morning? Yeah. The uh, no, I think it was later oh, the in the date, afternoon. The, yeah. the one coming back. Probably. The one coming back. Yes. Um, let's see. I'm about to get... Oh, Matt Cow's his mud buddy is in the shop getting new heads in camp. That's go, gonna Matt. be exciting. That's one of our. I know. Just followers. No, he really man. is. He that's always, the man. He always on there with. Always us. on. And I believe it's also, is it Matt that's always supposed to be at work that's getting in trouble? Matt, is that you? <laughs> One of you is always of getting in trouble. Like, Got to go, my boss is coming. <laughs> Gotta, my Click. boss is coming. <laughs> He's like, I missed it. I missed it. What, what did you say? Well, the one thing nice, if you do miss it, you can go back and watch it on Facebook, and then you repost it on our yes. YouTube. You, yes, you can also watch it on YouTube for those of you uh, who need to catch it later. Um, I always, you know, I like to throw in little things there. It's, it's nice. You get credits and music and everything when you watch it on yes. YouTube. But definitely go on YouTube and subscribe anyway, because why not? Um, let's see, Glade is uh, replying to some people. Glade has got a lot of info over at BPS. He can help you out with any of these performance questions. Um, he said, we've replaced five Neptune tuners out of the 250 we have sold. That was the first batch we had three years ago. So, uh, whatever that question is. And, Good you job. Know, every time you put something out, there's always a bug here and there. And you know, the one thing cool about it is we always are looking to fix, repair, replace. Yes. What, where, what, what was that word we used a while back? Innovators, not imitators. Innovators. We are Innovation. Innovators. Yes. Innovation is what we do. Yes, absolutely. That's why we are where we're at. Right. Luke Powell says, I'd rather have a bigger motor on my boat for those days when you have extra gear and extra guys. That, yes. That is my motto on all of That's why I'm standing next to the 5,000. And if you can't afford the larger one, start charging fees to the extra guys with the extra gear. Yeah, there gear. you go. They, yeah, let then them pay for the a, extra, yes. those extra I horsepower. I want to know how many yeah. guys take their friends out and they don't offer uh, to help out. Uh -oh, Either everybody. buy in breakfast or yeah. a little bit of no, fuel honestly, or, right? you know, because that happens all the time. We're going to have to shut this down now. 
your wife's on. My wife's on. We gotta shut it down. Now. She's home from school. My little my my little woman, the fifth grade teacher. N- Nancy is on, man. I I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I don't, Jeffrey is afa- afraid of my wife, and she is an amazing woman. She sure is. And I say that for real. Like yeah. that sounded mildly sarcastic, but it was not meant to be. She no, I'm a big. A, fa- I'm, Na- I'm Nancy fan. I'm a Nancy fan. Absolutely. We all love Nancy. We all love Nancy. I love. Um, let's see. How are you sure? All right, thanks. Why isn't Jeff wearing a Mud Buddy sweatshirt? Because he likes that's, deep. That's Nancy. Because what? she's got to say things like that. Nancy, this is my deep sweatshirt, and deep is one of our sponsors. Sponsors, yeah. So and that's why I'm, he gets to wear. It. I'm allowed to we wear this. We have a lot of great right sponsors, now. Yes. and I want Jeffrey to name them up for you because I can't remember. Them all. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to say a big thanks to Deep Apparel, Lucky Duck decoys, Tangle Free, XL Boats, BPS, Camo Systems. Heat dryer. Echo calls. I knew I was getting and, there. And one of my favorites. Echo calls. I got One of my favorite. Echo calls. Oh, and of, my- of course, our good friends over at Camp Chef. Yeah. Ryan and the boys. At Ryan Camp and Chef. the boys over at Camp Chef. I don't think Ryan watches us very much anymore. No. He's like the busiest he, human being. He's, he's a real busy marketing guy. Ridiculous. Yes. Um, Kyle Powers, where to buy new apparel? Yes, on the web. It's Starting on the web. <laughs> yes, in in a minute, we're so close. These sweatshirts, as we were saying a little bit, they're actually in the building, and I can see the box from here. Um, next week, those should be available, and there will be other gear as well. Some of the shirts, the hats, things like that will be up there. We're so close, y'all. You're gonna be able to get them. We're gonna get everybody decked out. It's gonna be awesome. And if you want, Jeffrey would be more than happy to sign it for you. That costs extra. That costs. A, okay. That's like a quarter. More. That's like a quarter more. Oh, quarter. <laughs> Rude. Hey, quarter's a quarter, baby. Um, Jeff Fuchs. Hey, Jeff. Good to see you on. Maybe it was Jeff, too, that got in trouble work. I can't remember. Somebody. You guys are so awesome for watching anyway. Um, best place to buy Mud Buddy clothes and hats. Um, you can get them. I think BBS does have some They have available, some hats and shirts. But some of the new stuff they will not have, and we're going to have them. Uh, they will be up soon. I know everybody. Um, uh, Randy Webb, what's the difference between the Raptor and the Raptor 2? I don't think we even the, sell the original the, Raptor anymore. I no, think we don't have any more no, no. than one. It's just the, the Raptor 2. The Raptor 2 is made by uh, Mercury yes. Marine. They build our new Raptor 2 prop. Mm-hmm. So it's been reworked and redesigned a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's just reworked. It's just bigger, better, inno- 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 innovation. 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 It's not We're not innovators. Nancy's going to be mad We're innovators. <laughs> um, Michelle Webb. Also looking for one of those hoodies. They're coming. They're totally coming. But Michelle, I do have. I've got a. I've got a shirt here for you, Michelle. Actually, she might already even have one. If you don't have one, Michelle, um, click the link that I'm gonna eventually put on this, <laughs> and and fill out that info. We're gonna get you one of these shirts out there. If we. If you don't already have, them. maybe you've already got one. In which case, you don't get anything. Maybe a Jeffrey kidding, hat. But maybe we'll get you something else. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we like we like it when the we like it when the ladies watch. Well, because you know, and I don't give anything to Nancy. I, I know, I, but you I, can take something home for Nancy. Nancy, too, Nancy has want, a matching hoodie. Oh, good. I posted that picture of nice. before. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. She has a lot of my buddy apparel. Okay, uh, John Benninger, Benninger. I have a forty-five Black Death. I want a little more power. How much more horsepower would a new exhaust system add? It, it'll get you a couple horsepower. Yeah, it'll get if you, you want to take that forty-five to the next step, the exhaust is going to help. Then yes. you're going to look into doing cam and some heads. of those other things. Yeah. Well, 44's got iron mount heads on. So oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. So if he puts a cam in it, that'll that'll wake it up a little bit more. So, and the guys over at Backwater Performance, they're more than willing to help you out and guide you with what you want to do and how much you want to do with your motor. Yes. Because anything's possible, as long as your checkbook will cover it. Absolutely. Um, Miles Christensen got a 4,000 EFI or a four, yeah, it's a 40 EFI. Love it. Got it on a 1954. That's a big wow, boat. That's a big boat. Um, with three guys, three dozen decoys, and two dogs. And wow. he's gonna, yeah, and he's he's running at about 20. He says 20 miles an hour. That's, he's that's up good. On step. He's yeah, down. you're you're moving. Um, love my 44 carved HDR. Looking to upgrade my backup motor to the new 50. Absolutely. Can additional performance parts be added to the 50 for more horsepower? Man, sure. horsepower is addictive. Uh, you're the, that is exactly right. It's like addictive. That, that idea that there's just a few more you could possibly get. Yes. You want it. That's, I know. That stuff's available. Contact the boys over. I, know, I over always forget PBS. Fort Corbin over there. Corbin's over there. Great guy, along yeah. with Travis and Glade yes. and the rest of the crew over the there. Rest of the Any crew one of those can help you with the extra stuff that's available for your 
EFI to make it a little Absolutely. bit faster. So that's backwaterperformancesystems.com. That's where you're going to go. Um, keep up the good work, guys. You can use the Sport V44 every year. That's from Matt Friedel. Whoa. I'm not even going to try that name. Freyeldenhoven. Oh. I don't know if I was close, but uh, Matt, <laughs> let me know. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Matt. It's Matt Freyel... Freyeldenhoven. Yes, I think that's it. Win. If I've got my 25 hours on it, I'm going to change the oil. I'm going to change the fuel filter. I'm going to change the oil filter. Um, if I've got a carbureted version, I'm probably going to run the carburetor dry. If I've got an EFI, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave the fuel in the system, but I'm going to run a good stabilizer through it. Yes. You know? Absolutely. You, you take care of it now, you should be ready to rock and roll when the season opens. Absolutely. Jonathan Hill, I've got a shirt for you. This is a deep shirt right here. I, I like this shirt. That's a nice shirt. Got Field. your little puppy on the back? Yep, it's, it's the Field to Fire shirt. I love, I love this stuff. They, they do great work. Uh, so that is for you. I'm going to put a link at the top of this description. Sometime today or tomorrow, click that link, fill out the info, and we'll today. get that sent off to you. Just saying, until it gets later and later, I might not be able to get to it. Um, okay, Nick Johnson got a 37 HDR, 1860 flat bottom, 40 or 50. Haul a little bit of a load. I run 24... What? W O T. What do you mean by what? I don't know what. I don't know. I know. Um, um, he's got a. He's got 37 now. Yeah, he got a 37. It's an 1860. The 40. If he's running light loads, the 40 will do it. Honestly, if, if he ever finds with if the he 40. Ever grows with friends that want to jump in with him. Well, the 50. And here's the thing: is that you've got that bigger boat, so you could put more people in it. Right. So maybe why not go with the 50? But just because you have a bigger boat and a big motor doesn't mean you have to take a lot of people. It, no, no, because it doesn't. Because it costs you more as the owner of but, the equipment, but you, and everybody else rides for free. That's right, but you could, so yes. why not? I mean, I would I mean, I mean, would say get that 50, but I think a 40 would work great. Um, <laughs> Richard Rouleau just got caught watching the show. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> <laughs> we caught somebody watching the show on their phone today, too. Yeah, we sure did. Busted. Um, we won't mention any names. You win a prize. Oh yeah. Okay. There's uh, just oh like good. good. Share, Travis guys. is is hitting this up really good. We BPS website or give us a call. Awesome. Um, Travis and them are really helping out. They're so much faster than we are. I've got so many. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Thanks, Travis. I'm Michelle Webb, biggest biggest female fan from Michigan. Michelle, I I know you're the best. You are the best, Michelle. And I dare anybody to say besides uh, Monica Harris, <laughs> who is also on you two. Are the best. <laughs> Ian was waving a sign at me. Can you guess what it said? Um, oh, yes. What did it say? It says buy a motor. It says buy they, a motor. He walks by the camera that says buy a motor. <laughs> and you know what? No better time. I mean, but you know, all of these guys are buying motors. That's what they've been saying the whole time is that they, these guys have got the motors and they're looking to upgrade. I mean, they know we're just trying to provide info. So, Ian, you know, take a break for a second. <laughs> you know, you don't want to put it off because if you put it off, we get busy, and then you gotta wait for your motor. Nancy Mitchell says she's the biggest female fan from Utah. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know, Nancy. We do these every week, and I don't. I don't see you on every week. She's Nancy. a school teacher. I don't sometimes know. Sometimes she can. You know? Sometimes she can. I think this is educational. I think maybe this should be live in your classroom. Well, Nancy. I don't know if we could do that, but <laughs> you want. 24 or 25 snotty nose little fifth graders. I just got Asking over. Questions. I just got over my last oh my gosh, those little kids don't that even, she brought don't home. Don't even no. start with me. I don't want to. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's see. Everything from Rogers is top notch. Roy Motley. Roy, I, you know. I what? think that might be him. I can't say enough about those waiters, man. Everything when you're standing in that chilly water. They were nice and warm. Everything from Rogers is top notch. New waiters has inside fleece, hand warmer pouch. Yeah, really yes. great. Um, trim, uh, Jeff Fuchs, trim switch on the grab bar is also going to rock. Oh, it's so it, great. It I mean, so I it. rocks. I, I love it. <laughs> I, because I don't run timber, and I, you know, I, I we're generally you know wide open. Is? <laughs> what is that, trees or something? Is oh, there hey, wood involved? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is Utah. We don't have trees here. Um, we're up in the mountains. But no, I just, I just love it. I mean, uh, I love it's it. It's amazing. Like, the fact that there's one here doesn't even register in my mind anymore. No, not when you have the one up no, on your other No, I've got hand. it on my other hand. But it sure um, sucks when you don't have it up there and you got to run one. Uh, Daniel Walter, I had one of the first 27 long tails, and that thing ran all the time. Great motor. You know what? We still sell a lot. Oh, we sold man. more long tails this year. 
Um, it's amazing. Yeah, we love those long tails. They're great. They're, They're great. simple, and they get you where you're going. Are they fast? No. Are they economical? Yes. Will they get you away from the guy standing on the dike? Yes, they will. And if you can get away from the, the pass shooters and those type of guys, you get into better hunting than they are. Yeah. So, yes. Long tails forever. That's a new tattoo I'm going to get. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid of Nancy, needles. what do you think of that? <laughs> Let's see if we get some, like, a, yeah, long tails for life. Long tails for life. Huh. I need somebody out there to design that tattoo. And, and uh, we're going to tattoo it on Jeff. <laughs> no, we'll get some, like, like semi-permanent. Or we'll do the stick-ons, and we'll put them on every time before we go out. <laughs> if somebody can design me a really beautiful long tail for life sticker or logo, big things will happen for you. You'll get a Sitka hat. Um, Flat brim. Yeah. Uh, can you put the new handle on the 37 HDR? And if so, what is the cost of the handle? They're working on it. I know there's a few little wire changes that you got to do, and we're working on it. And trust me, it's, we're working on it. Yes. So, you know. Um, so, Brady. Brady Ryman. Brady. The answer to your question is basically yes. What is he asking? Okay, so tell me this. If I buy a 4000 then after the three-year warranty, all I have to change is the heads to make it a 50. Yes. Yeah, basically yes. That's, that's what we're saying. That's the difference between these motors. Um, the difference is, is that Mike is going to change this here when it's new. Everything is going to be done perfectly the right way in the beginning. That's that's all I have to really say about that. But essentially, yes, that that is it. Um, what is the warranty on an F4 XL boat, Randy? I don't know. You'll have to talk to Dave on on that. That's Dave at XLBoats.net, and he will be able to talk yeah. to you about warranty stuff on all the boats. Maybe we have to get Dave out here one time, and he can answer a couple. We of boat sh questions. we should. I, it's been a while since yes. he's he's been on, not since our. Uh, uh, our spread, our, our decoy, decoy layout, layout spread. Yeah, that was ship. the last time we've had him on. on oh yeah, he took us out. That's right. He, he, he took us with us. He shot that beautiful cinnamon. Yes. Yeah. Something well, they don't find on the east side of the coast, where we do. Yes. Okay, Michelle Webb. I don't care about all the parts and stuff on the motor as long as I can keep fishing and shooting ducks without the boat sinking. This girl's good. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know that you really is a whole lot more. That is, is the most important thing. There is nothing better than that. Um, Amber says hi. Oh my gosh, how, many, how much more? Holy cow, Jim. We don't have that much I don't. Time. I really have got to wrap this up. Um, we're going to try and get to all these um, a little bit later. What's this we? Uh, Keith is going to get to these a little bit Travis, later. Travis, Blade. Um, we'll get to them. But I love all these shout outs, you guys. I mean, it really makes me feel so hey. great that you guys are all on and sharing your story. That's what most of this is, is everybody just sharing their love for for the motor and that's incredible without them we're not going to be here no it, it is really all with you in fact i need to like put together some kind of video or something and just have all of these great stories and sayings just kind of flash because you guys are so great and it it means the world to us it really does and we have a great boss who lets us do this yes and, and he's behind us um well not literally behind us but. So I do want to just say thank you all so much uh, for watching, and I want to say thank you to Mud Buddy and Excel and all of the rest of our sponsors, Deep Apparel, uh, Lucky Duck Decoys, Echo Calls, Tango Free, Camp Chef, um, Pete Dryers, and Camo Systems. All of you guys do so much for us. Without you, we, we absolutely could not do this show. Um, we've got so much more coming up too in the in the near future. We're just waiting for the weather to break, and we're going to get into some really the fun weather things. To, would, the weather breaking would be nice. Oh, yeah, man, that would just be so it. nice. But really, we want to get. We're excited to get back to the roots, which is the shallow water adventures. Right. We're excited to get back out, get back into the water, and really have more adventures. Uh, amen. Which goes to my point is that we're always looking for uh, suggestions, anything you want to see. Or anything that you want to know, like it was so great when you were like, "What's the difference between these two motors?" That's we love to talk about that kind of stuff because we get a chance to brag about it. But any more suggestions like that, send them to us. We read all these comments, um, so we want to hear from all of you. Yes. Um, so there is that for all of you who want a prize. I'm gonna get this link up as soon as I can. So check back real soon um, and fill out that information. We'll try and get all of this stuff out as soon as we possibly can. Next week we are gonna be on. At the same time, 
I'm not sure where we will be depending on what this weather, weather is like. Well, we have snow the next three days. Coming. I know, so it may we may not be able to get out, but if we can possibly get out, even if we have to just sit in the parking lot on a boat and we run our motor along our way out, something. But we will be back next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Join us next week right here in the shallow water. Bye, everybody. Bye.